notably one positioned in high Earth orbit, which recorded a strange signal from the Kuiper Belt. At first, scientists dismissed the reading as background noise, an error caused by sensor interference or cosmic radiation. Yet, as more data was gathered and compared with international observatories, it became undeniable. This was a real physical object. What made the find extraordinary was not simply its path or structure, but its behavior. Unlike natural bodies that follow gravity's predictable pull, this object moved in ways that defied known physics. It slowed, accelerated, and even shifted direction slightly, subtle but deliberate maneuvers impossible for a naturally occurring rock. The scientific community, already vigilant after encounters with interstellar visitors like Umwamua, quickly shifted focus to track and analyze the anomaly. This was no ordinary piece of space debris. The object emitted a steady electromagnetic signal, unlike the random bursts of radiation typical of cosmic junk. Its pulsing pattern suggested some kind of internal mechanism, or perhaps an artificial design. Its unusual reflectivity added to the puzzle. It absorbed large amounts of sunlight while releasing carefully timed bursts of infrared energy, almost like packets of encoded information. These features strongly hinted at advanced technology and raised unsettling questions about its true origin. The true shock lies not in the object's physical traits, but in what they imply. For decades, scientists assumed any body entering the solar system must obey the natural laws of motion and gravity. Yet this entity, or construct, appeared to bend those very rules, moving with an autonomy that suggested intelligence. Far from the heliopause, beyond the edge of our solar system, something had crossed into our neighborhood, and it did not seem random. Michio Kaku, renowned for his theories on advanced civilizations and the multiverse, stressed that this moment could represent the threshold of first contact, not necessarily with living beings, but with a probe, a relic, or an autonomous vehicle. Launched from a civilization many light years away, the implications are staggering. If this object is artificial, then interstellar exploration is not science fiction. It is happening right now elsewhere in the galaxy. And if other civilizations can send probes across vast distances, Humanity must reconsider its own place in the cosmic timeline. Scientists continue to monitor the object's inward trajectory. Though it poses no direct collision threat to Earth or major planets, its path looks deliberate, almost as though it is following a charted course. Simulations Predict it will pass close to Jupiter's magnetosphere before slingshotting into a new orbit around the Sun. The maneuver mirrors methods used by our own spacecraft reinforcing suspicions that it was engineered rather than naturally formed. Such behavior has fueled speculation about its mission. Could it be a passive observer or part of a long-term reconnaissance program? Even stranger, as it approached the sun, it slowed down instead of speeding up, a reversal of natural gravitational behavior. This suggests controlled entry, possibly a braking system, and raises questions about its propulsion. Unlike chemical or nuclear technologies familiar to us, it may use an entirely unknown system. Antimatter drives, quantum propulsion, or even space-time manipulation have all been suggested. Once thought impossible, such concepts suddenly feel within reach in the presence of this object. Astronomers have also detected periodic energy bursts across multiple frequencies, including radio waves. The patterns are too structured to be random, some theories suggest the object is calibrating itself to the changing conditions of planetary environments. Others propose it is sending data back to its origin. If the latter is true, then somewhere, perhaps hundreds of light years away, another civilization may already be receiving reports on our solar system, our star, our planets, and even Earth's electromagnetic noise. This possibility forces humanity to confront deep philosophical questions. Could we be under observation? Not in the sensational paranoid sense portrayed in fiction, but as part of a larger program of cosmic surveillance. Just as we send probes to study Mars, Saturn and the outer solar system, perhaps an older, more advanced species is studying us, quietly, from afar. Such a strategy would align with non-invasive exploration rather than conquest. As tempting 
As direct contact may sound, perhaps the object itself carries the message. Patience and caution must precede communication. The mere presence of such a probe reshapes discussions in physics, philosophy and policy. For centuries, humanity has viewed space as unreachable, with the speed of light and vast distances serving as insurmountable barriers. But if this is a genuine artifact from another star system, then those barriers may already have been surpassed. This possibility reignites debates over warp drives, wormholes, and faster-than-light travel. It also revives discussion of the Kardashev scale, which ranks civilizations by their ability to harness energy. Humanity, still below Type 1 planetary, could reach that stage within a century. But a Type 2 or 3 civilization harnessing the power of stars or even galaxies could easily dispatch probes across interstellar space. Beyond science, the psychological shock is immense. For centuries, we imagined ourselves alone in the cosmos, aware of the stars but disconnected from them. The idea that an alien artifact may be here, in our solar system, forces us to rethink our role in the universe. Humanity is no longer the sole protagonist of the cosmic story, but a participant in a far larger narrative. This realization reshapes classrooms, research institutions, political debates, and religious discussions. If such an artifact exists, then life not only exists elsewhere, it must be common enough for civilizations to rise, thrive, and explore. That transforms the Drake equation from speculation into evidence. Technologically, the object is invaluable, a Rosetta Stone of alien engineering. Concepts to intercept it using advanced propulsion and AI-driven probes are already being drawn up. A successful rendezvous could accelerate human science by centuries. The encounter would be like a Stone Age tribe stumbling across a satellite, knowledge so advanced it borders on magic. Yet governments tread carefully. The potential for fear, secrecy or even militarization hangs over the discovery. Many argue for global transparency and cooperation, warning that how humanity reacts may itself be observed. In this sense, the discovery is not just scientific but moral, a test of maturity. What began as a minor anomaly has become a global focal point in only months. Policies, alliances and research priorities are being redefined. The object presses. Onward and with every kilometre it travels, the questions multiply. Who sent it? Why? What does it know? What happens next? For now the focus remains on observation. Scientists analyze its emissions, mathematicians model its path, and engineers imagine missions that could intercept it. Meanwhile, the public watches with awe, speculation, and a growing sense that our destiny is tied to the stars. This discovery, highlighted by Michio Kaku, is more than a scientific breakthrough. It is a reflection of humanity's place in the cosmos. It suggests the universe may be more populated, more interconnected and more mysterious than we ever imagined. It is a story still unfolding, written by physics, possibility, and the endless curiosity that makes us human. As the object advances, new mysteries unfold. The excitement has given way to scrutiny. Data streams from the James Webb Space Telescope, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, and deep space radio arrays now converge in shared databases. Humanity has mobilized on a scale rarely seen before. Among the most shocking findings is its interaction with sunlight. Unlike ordinary bodies that passively absorb and re-emit heat, this object appears to store and redistribute photons, hinting at energy harvesting technology. Its surface may be made of metamaterials capable of dynamically adapting to solar radiation, magnetic fields, and cosmic particles. High-resolution images reveal a crystalline, angular design, modular panels shifting in subtle coordination, not with mechanical clunkiness, but with the fluidity of a living organism. This has fueled speculation that the object is not just technological, but bioengineered, a seamless fusion of machine and life. If true, its creators have achieved what humanity can only dream of, merging biology with technology. Could it heal? itself. Could it evolve as it travels? Some now argue it may not be a probe at all, but an artificial intelligence, perhaps even a sentient one. Not conscious in the human sense, 
but operating with such autonomy that it mirrors free will. Its energy bursts follow mathematical constants, pi, the Fibonacci sequence, the golden ratio. This is not random. It is a deliberate signature, mathematics as the universal language. Perhaps the object is not speaking to us directly, but announcing its intelligence to anyone capable of listening. A mysterious object, previously undetected and entirely unforeseen, has entered our solar system. It is not a comet, nor an asteroid moving according to the predictable rules of celestial mechanics, but something wholly different. Its arrival marked a defining moment in humanity's exploration of the universe, sparking profound questions about interstellar travel, cosmic phenomena, and the very foundations of our understanding of space. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The initial detection came from an array of deep space telescopes, most notably one positioned in high Earth orbit, which recorded a strange signal from the Kuiper Belt. At first, scientists dismissed the reading